Baba Sulaim was, uh, was like, uh, like the greatest spiritual master of our modern times. He died about 60 years ago. And um, he, was, he was given, he reached a level of, um, where, of experiencing the, the purpose of creation. And, um, you know, we have, lots of, we have lots of commentaries on the Zohar and the writings of the Ari and, you know, the holiest, you know, books of the Kabbalah. But the Bala Sulan didn't bring to us only a commentary but on these things, on these holy books, most holy books. But he was given permission from above, he explains to us, to reveal the inner, inner meaning uh, of, the, of these, these, this, this information. And he says that this, this understanding isn't anything new. This is something that the spiritual masters of every generation have been dealing with. And these are all the things that when we look in the, in the holy books that everybody's talking about. But the Baal Salaam says that no one was given permission until, from above until his time to lay it out so clearly. And he basically, what his, his commentary in the Zohar called the Sulam, the ladder, is, uh, it's not just a commentary, but it's actually like breaking the, the code of the Zohar. And he shows that the entire Zohar, which is a lot of writing, is, uh, is on a very deep level. When you read through his commentary, you see it all maps into direct lights and returning lights. The whole Zohar, like everything, it's like, it's, it's or the Chochmah, or the Chasadim, direct light, returning light, direct light, returning light. And uh, and the, when the idea of this is we learn that the direct light is when we're experiencing the goodness, and returning light is when we're trying to give it back. And the basic, basic principle is that we, can, we only experience the direct light to the extent that we're trying to give it back. So, so, so through his commentary, we see that the entire Zohar, and also the, the, the Etzachayim of the Arizal, and the inner books of the Kabbalah are actually very, very deep, exacting maps of, of consciousness and intention. And, uh, you know, in the, in the language of the Zohar, the Orda Chochma and Orda Chasadim, which is direct light and returning light, they translate as Orda Chochma means the light of wisdom, and Orda Chasadim means the light of loving kindness. And the basic principle is that the, the wisdom only withstands, the wisdom being the experience of, of the divine, if the, if the loving kindness is, is, is more important than the wisdom. And so when a, these are long discussions, but the basic, when, we're, you know, when, when a person is learning Torah, it's very, very easy to, to keep, like, the, the information is so beautiful, and a person keeps want, get, can get stuck in, like, wanting to get the, get the wisdom. And the whole principle, like, on every page, over and over and over again, is that the, the, that the, the loving kindness is more important. The, the idea in the, that the Baal Salaam brings to us in every moment of what we're doing in our spiritual work, whether it's learning, whether it's practice, we're trying to reach from this the place of, uh, of service, the place of giving to the other, the place of, of caring, the place of trying to, to realize how much of what we're doing is, 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 is connected to a self-interest and trying to, and wanting to go beyond that. And we learn that every moment that a person is like, is, 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 that's interest. That's a person's interested in that is is trying to do that. So then we're we're growing spiritually. So in the in the learning of the Bala Sulam, it's constantly pointing us to. We can't forget it because it's constantly pointing us to that to that to that spiritual work. And, uh, and shows us that the you know we have in the, the whole we have we have the the oral tradition of the Torah. So what you know we have, as I understand it, the oral tradition has like two two halves to it. It has the Mishnah, which then became the, and the Gemara and all the commentaries. And we have the Zohar, like the other half of the oral tradition. And, uh, and while the, the Mishnah is on some level dealing with, it, with our outer spiritual work and the details of it, which is what most of the nation of Israel has been concentrating on learning for the past 2,000 years, the, the Zohar is, is all the details of our inner spiritual work, of our transformation of intention that we're going through from the place of caring for the self to the place of caring for the other.